The long-delayed aid package for Ukraine is still stalled in the House, even though it passed overwhelmingly with strong Republican support in the Senate two months ago. President Zelensky now saying Ukraine will lose the war without that U.S. aid. I caught up with farmer and philanthropist Howard Buffett in Oklahoma City. He's been talking to ranchers and farmers across America about the importance of supporting Ukraine. Yukon, Oklahoma, known for wheat fields and cattle ranches, is nearly 6,000 miles from the battlefields of Ukraine. But people in both places may have more in common than they think. Why are you doing this? Why are you traveling across the country talking to farmers about Ukraine? Well, I'm talking to more than just farmers. I'm trying to talk to anybody who will listen, to be honest with you. What happens in Ukraine is going to have a huge impact on what happens to this country. Ukraine once a top grain exporter, before the war known as the breadbasket of Europe. But Vladimir Putin's invasion has decimated production. Fields now littered with landmines, tractors replaced by tanks, exports plummeting, farmers' livelihoods destroyed, and populations from Egypt to South Africa scrambling for grain. We joined Illinois farmer and agricultural philanthropist Howard Buffett on the third stop of a tour across the U.S bringing the plight of Ukraine's farmers to the American heartland. In partnership with the German Marshall Fund, a pro-democracy think tank, Buffett has one goal, to convince farmers here to support farmers over there, unable to till their battle-ravaged fields under constant bombardment from Russia. If Ukraine falls to Russia, I will. I, there's no other logical conclusion other than NATO ends up fighting Russia at some point. You're going to wake up one day and we're, we're going to be in it. And we're going to be in it. Our kids are going to be fighting. Our grandkids are going to be fighting. Somebody's going to be fighting. Here at the stockyards in Oklahoma, the farmers and ranchers we talk to sympathize with the farmers in Ukraine, but it feels far away. I get in my tractor. I don't worry about a bomb going off when I go to plow my field. I worry about how much fuel's in the tank, you know, what station's on the radio and what the markets are doing. I don't have to worry about my life. And those farmers, sure enough, have to worry about their life and whether they're going to go home that night to their family. Buffett brought together Oklahoma locals, cattle ranchers, wheat farmers, and poultry producers with different perspectives. From a U.S. wheat producer standpoint, that their cheap grain is putting us at an extreme disadvantage. I think it's huge, a huge issue for the world uh, to hold the line, uh, to hold the line here and uh, protect the Ukrainians. And I say you can support them for the ethical reasons, the moral reasons, or the selfish reasons. You get to the same place. All of us get caught up in our day-to-day -day life of, you know, paying the bills and keeping the farm running and all that, and don't think about those big things that happen on a global scale. <laughs> Buffett told me that in the first two years of the war, his foundation has spent half a billion dollars supporting Ukrainian farmers, providing 70 combines, 84 tractors, planters and drills, and new grain storage facilities to replace what the Russians bombed or confiscated. They also stopped by a Ukrainian Orthodox church in Jones, Oklahoma, a parish first built by immigrants fleeing Russian oppression in the 1920s. I spoke to Father Stepan about what's at stake for his homeland. Is it difficult to explain that here in Oklahoma, where a war in Ukraine seems far away. He says even though it is far away, people in their hearts know that this war is very serious. What happens if Russia wins, if Vladimir Putin wins? He says, I think God will not allow this to happen. I believe even the United States and the European Union won't let this happen. Born into wealth, the son of the legendary billionaire Warren Buffett, Howard Buffett could remain on the sidelines, but doesn't. You could be living a very different life. Why do you do this? My mom and dad gave me this opportunity. I would say it's an obligation, but it doesn't feel like an obligation. I mean, it's something that I love to do. I mean, it, it, it's a real privilege for me to be able to do it. A son of privilege with roots on the American farm and a passion for helping farmers feed the hungry around the world. And my thanks to Howard Buffett and his foundation and the German Marshall Fund for letting us visit with them on that tour as they continue to try to get the farmers, ranchers, and other people in America to be more aware of what's happening in Ukraine. In a new interview with Univision, President Biden is calling on Speaker Johnson to have the courage, his word, to hold a vote on aid to Ukraine. Despite Donald Trump's opposition and Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene threatening to oust the Speaker, the motion to vacate if he allows it to come to the floor.
if we had a vote tomorrow, if the if the new Speaker of the House of Representatives had the guts to call for a vote in, on on Ukraine, it would pass overwhelmingly. I'm hoping that the Speaker of the House begins to use, have the courage to, nobody I'm confident he knows what has to be done. Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Jason Crow of Colorado, a former Army Ranger who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, knows what it's like to be in the trenches. He was just in Ukraine two months ago. Congressman, thank you very much. Ukraine is running out of ammo, but more importantly, uh, perhaps, I mean, they can get ammo, you know, from the EU, which is putting up a lot of money, but they can't get the American weapons that they need. They need air defense. They need long-range missiles. That's right. They need both the weapon systems that only the United States can provide, but they also do need the ammunition because the, the simple fact of the matter is, is that Europe and other NATO uh, countries just do not have the production capability that the United States has. So it's absolutely essential that Mike Johnson, Speaker Johnson, put the Senate bill on the floor for a vote. It would immediately go to the president. Uh, we would be able to the flow the, the badly needed support that Ukraine needs right now, uh, which is in our national security interest. You know, as your, your prior piece pointed out, uh, this is important for securing food supplies. It's important for securing our economy because Europe is our nation's largest trading partner. And it's also important for making sure that other autocrats and dictators around the world, whether it's China, Iran, North Korea, don't decide to do the same thing that Vladimir Putin did. Uh, we have to stop this now. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.